you, brother. All right. Thanks, everybody, for being on. James Levins here, just outside of Philadelphia, Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Welcome to Infone. We do this once a week. Uh, usually it's on Tuesday nights. Uh, we apologize for not being on last night. I know we had a couple of people logged in last night, um, but with the whole holiday weekend, people recovering, and I know I was driving last night home about five hours, and the cell phone service would have been spotty, and I really wanted to be on. So we moved it to tonight. Uh, next week, Steve, I believe it'll be on again Tuesday night, right? We'll do it Tuesday. So if that works for you guys, love to have you on. Um, again, James Levins, one of the partners here at Infone, also automotive background in the auto industry, um, car sales and, and wholesale. But before we get started, I want to introduce my, my partner, my brother from another mother, Mr. Steve Ramona out in California. He is the guy that uh, is literally, we're so grateful to have him as part of the Infone, uh, mainly because he knows way more stuff than I do. Uh, as far as the technical stuff, but I just love him because he is, he's the true um, image of what info and the true example of if you take your info seriously, watch what happens. So we'll talk about that a little bit. Steve, welcome to the webinar Zoom, brother. Thanks for being Thank on. You, James. Welcome, everybody. And I just got to say, Steve had made a, Steve Jackman made a great comment. He saw my post or my profile on LinkedIn. He goes, you know, today you look so much more relaxed. And I got to tell you, Working with Infone, working with all of you and, and partnering up with James and Sarah, great to meet you. I've emailed back and forth with Sarah. So great to meet you here. But I'm, I'm excited. The future is so bright with us. Um, I met a guy yesterday who was part of the VA. We're going to start getting to veterans. I've got some connections now in the vet market. What a great opportunity for a veteran to start a business and have info with them when they start their business. James doesn't know about this, so I'm announcing it today. I'm Good. doing some work with that. Uh, but there's many ways we can go with Infone. That's why me and James love it. We can help everybody. We can serve so many different industries and people. And Steve Jackman, again, for the great comments, but it's right. We are helping so many. Yeah, we're here to make money. We're, we have to live on money, but we can also <laughs> help a lot of people. So James, back to you. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate you. We, we appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for being on. Yeah, great words, Steve. We're going to do a lot of things tonight. You know, you're going to see some repetitive stuff because there is new pe there are new people on here. So I want to kind of give them um, just some pointers on how to reach so many people, how to utilize your info. And we're going to have some new stuff tonight. We're going to have some simple stuff. I don't like to do anything technical. That's the greatest part about info. You know, today, it's funny. I was with uh, my fiance, Alyssa, today. And we went to one of her friends who's um, into Reiki and she does a lot of health and wellness stuff. Or her parents own a real estate firm and the people next door own a large insurance company. And I was just asking her, you know, obviously being one of the partners in Info, and I said, can you introduce me to them? And she did. It was great. And she just said, what is it exactly? And I just said, let's just, I don't want to explain what it is. I just want to show you. I said, do you have a business card? And I walked over to her and, and she gave me a business card. And I said, this is great. It was actually a beautiful business card. It was like really nice. And the way she decorated and stuff was very nice. I said, that's great. I said, but I'm just going to let you know that the second I leave here, I'm definitely going to put it in my pocket. Okay. It's probably, I'm in the car business. So I don't have a, um, and I'm not stereotyping this car business, but a lot of car guys do this. I don't have a wallet. Um, I just have all my money and my debit credit cards wrapped in a rubber band. It's like old school stuff. Right. So I said, I'm going to stick it right in here. It's probably going to sit in there and either get all worn out or eventually it's going to have in my drawer. Or if I slip and drop it, I'm going to lose it. I said, so let me show you what I have. And that's when she pulled out her phone. I just scanned it and I went, boom, boom. She had an iPhone. I just clicked two buttons there and I saved it to her home screen. She went, this is unbelievable. And, and it's funny. Now, this is a pointer for everybody, a, a success tip. The reason I did that is because it's different. It's next level. Now, there's nothing wrong with, you know, I have to say, there's nothing wrong with business cards, paper business cards. Actually, no, screw that. There's a lot of things wrong with paper business cards because people are going to lose them. And when you spend that much money on business cards and you hand them out and they lose them, it's a waste. They have to look you up some other way. With info, my picture's on there. So I told her, I said, if you ever need any business, you know, if you want to do business together, need anything from me or whatever, click my picture. And she loved it. And I, I bet you in a month's time, if I go and meet with her or whatever, and I say, let me see your phone real quick. I will 99.9% .9 be on that phone because people just do that. And I try, I have fun with people doing that too. I say, let me see your phone real quick or send me a screenshot of your phone. And I'm on there because they say it's really cool and they refer me out. So that's what I did tonight. So again, success tip is 
use it, right? Remembering to use it. That's the biggest is issue with InPhone is, oh, I forgot I even have it. So literally make it on the front. When you open up your phone on your home screen, make it the, your icon on your front screen. I have text message, FaceTime, calendar, photos, and my in phone should be right there at all times. Now I use mine all the time, so it's second nature for me. Put yours right in the middle of your, of your front screen and that'll give you great you know, uh, mindset on how to use it. So whole point of the story, I showed it to her. And then I said, now watch this. If you ever, and obviously Alyssa's an esthetician. So I saw that um, on her um, business card, she had her Venmo link on there. I said, here's the problem. People have to type this in. I said, and I said, this is a, this is a problem for people. And I'm saying first world problems. They have to type it in, in their phone. People are lazy. People don't have time. They screw it up. I said, watch this. You click a button. It goes to Venmo less than two seconds. She said, wow, that's amazing. So remember this guys, it's all about one touch easement on how to utilize everything that you have and you want to offer to your clients. Now, here's what I asked of her. I said, can you do me a favor and please show this to your parents and, um, and then anybody else? Because she introduced me to the insurance person. I said, anybody else you might think could value, use, you know, gain value in info. I said, here's how you share it. Watch this. It took, now again, I had a meeting with her about other stuff, but it took like a minute to show her how to do this. I said, if you're next to somebody, just click this copy paste in, or uh, this QR code here and scan it just like I did. She's like, oh my God, it says it right there. Share via QR code. I said, if they're not near you, then just hit copy, paste and share. And then watch it, send it to me. And then she did, she texted it to me because she was on my info. So it was just two seconds. Now she understands how to use it. So success tip of the year here, use your info. And if it's somebody, now if you're just meeting somebody and you're passing by and you're not gonna say, hey, can you refer me out? Obviously, I'm asking of her to show other people because we had that conversation, right? If you're meeting somebody at a network, don't go, hey, I know we're going to meet, but can you share my, my business card with every, you know, my info and everybody? Don't do that. But if you're doing business with somebody that's going to give you referrals, okay, that's one really cool way is show them how to utilize your info. So save it to their home screen. That is, Steve, I'm actually going to share my screen. Am I able to share my screen? I finally figured out my, my sharing thing here. All right. So I know how to do that too. All right, well, what happened was I have, see, I'm hardwired in and Zoom's great if you, um, it, it does a mirror imaging, but you have to have Wi-Fi on there. So it just, it's, so I don't know, it's just difficult, but I figured out how to plug mine in. So can you guys see it okay? Everybody good? See it great? Okay. Here's my home screen, right? So I'm going to teach you guys what I did. I mean, literally, we all know this. And again, um, this is the, this is the very simple stuff that we probably already know, but I'm going to teach you anyway, because when I share this with people, I want them to understand. So here's my info right here, right? Now at the bottom of the screen, it went away. At the bottom, so here's how I describe it to people. You see the taskbar along the bottom? We all know what it is. But when you're explaining it to somebody on your actual um, phone without seeing them in person, I say, do you see the taskbar along the bottom of your iPhone? Now, again, I'm doing iPhone now, not Android. They say, no, uh, they say I see client reviews because they're doing this and it disappears. Do you see how when I go yeah. up, it disappears? They have to pull it down for an iPhone and then it'll appear there. I said, do you see the square with the up arrow? Now, final thing is if they don't see the square with the up arrow, here's what I do, watch this. I screenshot it and then I just circle it right here. You see how I'm doing that right there? I and then I just, send, I just screenshot on my phone. So Kim will teach you how to do that, Steve. Screenshot. It's very simple if you have an iPhone, depending on which one you have. You just hold two of your buttons together. So again, that's what I did. Let me delete it again. I'm going to do it real quick for you guys again. So I just said, hold on a second here. I'm just going to screenshot it. Now, I don't want to get too technical with this, but the reason I want to show is so we can talk about next, right? So I screenshotted it. I just hit it and I just circled it right here, okay? And just said, here, click this button. Now, obviously, now they have it. If I text it to them, they go back, they click it, they scroll up. They click add to home screen. You see it right down there, add to home screen, okay? And then add, done deal. So when you add it, there we are now on the front page here, boom, at the bottom, okay? So now they have it. And the reason I really want you guys to understand how to save it is because when you're on an Android or an iPhone, I rarely explain to people how to do it when I'm, obviously I'm in person. I do it for them. Now I will say this, since the COVID days, some one out of 150 people might say, uh, you know, I don't want to just grab their phone out of their hand. 
I just kind of tap and tap. People might be weary of touching their phone. It's okay. Not, not too many people I run into, but you may. So what I do is I say, here, take the QR code. It pulls up. I just go, here you go. I go, that's what I go. Click, click, click. Now you have my face on your home screen. Let's do business together. Okay. And then we do it. Android, Steve, I'm going to ask you to do the Android real quick, brother. If you don't mind, I'm going to stop sharing my screen Not here. Not a problem. Yeah. So on the Android, same thing. The better phone, me and James fight all the time. He, he is, by te technology, you smoke me all day long. So but watch this. This is awesome. So this is Android, Samsung, Pixel. And there's a Samsung browser and Edge, but most people have Chrome. And on a side note, when you have an iPhone and they're using Chrome as the browser, it will not work. So just ask them to go to Safari. You'll run into that. Me and James run. Just say, hey, pull up your Safari, type in info.co slash sr1. You'll get it. Now with uh, the Android, super simple. See up here at the top, you're going to see. Am I sharing my screen? Yeah, hey, you're good. You got three dots. Three dots top right. Yeah, you can hit it. See the three dots, gonna... everybody, in the top right? Right. So I'm going to do this. Just the menu quick. tab. Right up here, these three dots. You can you guys see that? You got, yep, you got it. So click. And now it won't let me do it. Close it out. There we go. It opens up the menu where uh, info or iPhone, you have to go up and down. You just click add to home screen. You click add. And there's an extra add because they can. you could do different things. What happens is you see it doesn't go to the home screen. So the guy goes, oh, I don't see it. Just have them go back to their home screen. And there I am right there. So to repeat what Steve said, I mean, there's three. Uh, Android is actually way easier than iPhone. There's three dots or three slashes, either on the top right or bottom right, depending on what Android device you have, top right or bottom right. Now, I don't want to spend all night here. Thank you, Steve, on how to save it. But you know what? This is what's going to set you apart from the competition. Reason I want to bring this up is because a lot of you are in networking groups in person again, right? You're going to be going to these networking groups and meeting a million people. Now, normally you can do this, grab the business cards and then put them in your little Halloween bag of business cards, right? And then go home and say, who is this person again? I forget. They are not going to forget you. They're not. Why? Because your face is on their phone. Okay. They're going to click your face. They're going to go, oh, that's Chrissy. That's Lula. Okay. I, I remember let's do business together. So I want you guys to really emphasize learning how to save it to home screens. When you're out and about, I know 4th of July was this weekend. We had great parties and stuff. But if you're ever at a gathering, just say, hey, I want to give my new, my new contact information with my info. Or I want to give my info. Grab all your friends' phones and just click it and click it. Now, the reason this brings me to case number two, uh, training point number two. The reason I say put on everybody you know's home screen is because you are their insurance agent. You are their whatever, you know, auto detailer. You're their real estate agent. You're their whatever in their network or their family, right? You want them. They're not going to carry around 50 business cards for you because they have, they have small pockets, but they are going to have their phone. So you want to share this on every single person's home screen of their phone that you're in business with. Because guess what? If you ask of them, they might pass it out. That's why I tell all my friends, because obviously I'm, in, I'm a partner in info. So when I'm around, I say, hey, do me a favor, share this with a bunch of people in your network. Just like we talked last week, share it with everybody, right? And I explain to them in two seconds, copy, paste, and share, or share via QR code. That's how you share it out for me, guys. And they said, no problem. And they do. Some do, some don't. But put it this way. If you, have enough, if, if you put a billboard on the highway and people are driving by, one, they might see you and might call you. I say might because people, you know, your billboards work for certain things, maybe. But within phone, if you get your face on enough people's home screens, guess what? It just might work. You just might get a referral or 10 or 100 or 50, whatever, you know, and that's what you want. I make sure my phone, my in phone is on every single person that I meet every minute of every day. Literally, I did. Um, we have a three year old. She does her like annual checkups. We go there and I say, great. I say, here, doc. And I, I grab the phone and I say, bing, bing, anything you ever need in the car business or in phone, whatever. Give me a call, whatever. And that's how we build a relationship. Everywhere I go, I put my face on their home screen so that they don't forget us. So, all right, so you have that now. How to save it to the home screen. Then you have put it everywhere, anytime you can do that. Another thing to do, really cool, we talked about this last week with Chrissy Kressler. She had, uh, Chrissy, you have to be over 1,000 now. She had 
in in less than 30 days, she had over 781 openings of her info. Now it definitely crossed a thousand because it's been a week. So just do the math on this, okay? The reason I, I bring Chrissy up is because she utilizes it like she should. Now she shares it with everybody, but at her salon, she also has a beautiful printout with her QR code in it that says scan for my info or whatever it says on there. So every single person when they leave there. So again, another point today, if you have an office, if you have anything that has to do with people coming in and out, I highly recommend that you print it out on a nice little border, eight and a half by 11, get one of those clear stands and put it on your desk, put it anywhere. Because guess what? When people walk in, everybody has QR codes now. And they're used to them. I always scan them and go, what is this? If you're bored, if you're sitting there waiting, somebody's in a meeting, I just scan it. That's what they do, okay? So that's another tip there, okay? Also, we're all on Zooms here. Now, Tony, we can't flood our buddy and ask him to make us a million of them, but Guys, the backgrounds for for homes for Zooms here, if you're doing virtual stuff, Steve Jackman has it right there. Now, he's obviously representing Infone, but on the top, you can put your own company there if you like. Put your own logo. Get, and I'm not trying to do it. You go on YouTube and learn how to do that. It's very easy, I'm sure. Go on YouTube, figure out how to um, create a background for your Zoom screen. Just Google YouTube or Google it, right? But it's your brand. So if your brand's right here and your brand's right there, they can scan it, they can see it. Again, it's all about your image. Steve, anything on top of that uh, as far as shareability, telling everybody about it, and your background? And well, let's – uh, yeah, I'm going to show real quick. I know we're short on time, but it's always – people are visual. So let me show you what Marty did. And Marty is friends with Debbie, and Debbie brought her in, brought him in. So this is what he did at his brick and mortar. Look at that. That's the window of his gym. That's cool. Personal Hold your camera, tell him what to do, scan it. You know, he could even take the next step on your home screen. But he's getting a lot of hits on his info because it's there. And if you have a brick and mortar, when you walk by, like Donovan's working with our insurance company in Fresno, well, on weekends, they get people hitting their info because they're closed. So they're selling their business on a Saturday when they're not even open because the person walks by, scans a QR code, sees everything about the insurance company right there. So want to add that. No, that's phenomenal. And Marty's like our number one, like spokesperson. I mean, he, he, everybody has his info. He has thousands of uh, members of his gym and every single person has it on their home screen and they share it out because he's built a, but all about Marty is he builds a community, uh, not just a gym or give me your money and go away. He cares about people. So they care about him and guys, that's, he's actually an amazing person to learn business from because a lot of people just want, that's why when, we, when we're building this info company, we don't just want to take your money and see you later. We're doing this for you because we respect and appreciate the fact that you even thought about spending your money with us, okay? And that's why we want to help you network, help you share it out. We want to help you make your mortgage payments, help you make all your money. And Marty is that person, but he does with personal training with his gym. So he, that's why people share his, um, his QR code out so much, his info, because they want people to join his community, just like you should want people to join your personal community called your network. So before I get into that, actually, I want to try something real quick. Sarah, if you don't mind, can you please pull up, um, can you get your phone out? I love doing this with people in different countries. I have to. Okay. So here, let me pull up my info here. Sarah, can you scan my QR code for me with your phone? She's way ahead of you. Look at her. She jumped she right is. on that. Awesome. Okay. You have, you have my info up right now? Awesome. Okay. Can you do me a favor? Click video chat on the right side right there versus video chat. And then you press host, please. I'm sorry, you press guest. Did you already press host? That's okay, press host. That's fine, that's fine, press it. I'll be your guest tonight. All right, so here we go. You pressed host already? Let me do it again and that way I can. Okay, yeah, we'll refresh it. Okay, so just go oh, guest, right? Yep, you're gonna be guest. And she's in Costa Rica. Come on, let's see here. We get two James. Hey, there you go. Costa Rica. Now look how clear, look how clear our pictures are. Can you guys see that? This is video chat. Thank you so much. Sorry, we're gonna hang up. Thank you so much. I just had to do that because our video chat platform. I want to make sure it works in every country. And so far, right, Steve? So far, so good. We're in the UK. We're in Africa. We're in Canada, Costa Rica. Obviously, this is phenomenal. Thank you so much for doing it. So um, 
now I want to James, talk about oh, what's that? James. Can I ask you a quick question? Yeah, good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. On, on the video chat, when you did that, did the other person have to have the in phone also? So no, Armando. Okay. It's a great question, pal. So no. So here's the cool. Actually, let me explain video chat. Sorry for yeah. just blasting over that, but I yeah. really wanted. I want to try it. So let's explain video chat in business, right? So let me explain why we have video chat on here. The answer is no, Armando. They don't have to have in phone. The reason we have video chat with InPhone is because we had a real estate agent that kept calling saying, I, I want to know if you guys can figure out how to solve a problem I have. A lot of people from the Northeast are moving down to Myrtle Beach to get away from the cold weather. And when I'm down here, they want me to FaceTime them and show them these houses that I'm selling, right? But if they, she has an iPhone, so you can FaceTime. But if you have an Android or any other phone, you can't just FaceTime each other because... Um, you don't have the same device. So you have to have Facebook Messenger, be friends on Messenger, WhatsApp, Duo. You have to download the same app together. So within phone, we're a web app. We're not a downloading app. So there's no room taken up in your phone. You don't have to have a special device. It's just a link. So what we did was we created a video chat where Armando, I could send this to anybody. And now I can start saying that pretty much anywhere in the world without, you know, we haven't found a place we can't work yet. As long as they have internet presence. You send them your info, they click video chat guest, you click host, and in less than two, three seconds, you're now FaceTiming, so to speak. Here's uh, what I love about video chat. Yeah. Okay, I'm James, on, what's up? Oh, okay, James, you send them your info yep. via- Just like text, a, message, text message, uh, email, or yep. WhatsApp, or whatever. Exactly, okay, and you say, it, let's jump on a video chat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's, that's so, exa exactly what, what I did. I tried it with a- a couple of friends of mine, one in Uruguay and one in Ecuador, and it worked beautifully. I love hearing this. Thank you for yeah. that testimony. Did you hear that? Ecuador and Uruguay. I love that. Thank you for that, Armando. Awesome. So what I love about that, too, is, Armando, if you're on your computer and they're on their Android in Uruguay, as long as they have internet or some kind of LTE or some kind of something going to their device that they can go online, you could be on your laptop, your desktop, and you could be literally FaceTiming them anywhere in the world. So that's what I love about this. You know, when people are in their offices, they can do their one-on-ones with anybody anywhere at any time. But to answer the whole questionnaire, they do not have to have an in-phone. You just send them your link and now you can do business together. All right, Armando, thank you so much for that. All right, so now let's talk about utilizing your network. Tony Mekadon sent this to me last night about an A-team. Uh, he sent me a, a short video, which I loved it. And I'm going to try to get a little bit shorter because people have a, a very short attention span. I'm gonna try to make it about three minutes when I make one, but you're 18. Now, this is how I got all my business. Uh, most of you don't know me, or most of you know me from the car business, but I bought and sold over 35,000 cars, okay? The way I got that was I built a network of pure A-list people that refer me business all of the time, all of the time, okay? I put a, a post of a Jeep Wrangler up today. I had a hundred messages from people that just shared it with a bunch of people that I had no idea who these people were. That's my network. I'm very grateful to have people like that. So with InPhone, we do it for you, which means we build the network for you, okay? Now, I know you guys know what it is already. Some of you, some of you have it, some of you don't. But if you're not taking advantage of this, you are really missing out on business. Now, let's talk about the, the, the Maya way, okay, right here, where she just has this. Now, if you don't have an A-team, if you don't have any friends that have InPhones, that's fine. It's okay. But you got to create a Google Doc. Again, go online, go on YouTube and, and say, type in how to create a Google Doc. That's all you got to hit, right? It'll come up. It'll teach you how to do it on your, on your computer or whatever. And that's what Maya has right here. I got a guy slash gal. When somebody goes to her info and they say, Maya, who do you recommend for so-and-so? Now, obviously, we're going to talk about the bottom in a second. But let's say she did not have an A team with different tabs. She would say, go to my... She named it, I got a guy slash gal. You can name it your referral network, your network, your, your glow squad or whatever, Chrissy, glow, whatever you want, okay? I got a guy slash gal and there is a Google doc of all of your friends, okay? So think of people that you love to refer, that you always love to refer out. You always want to give them business. And I say that, why do you think of people that you want to refer out? I think that way 24 hours a day of, how can I make this person business? Like today with my fiance, we went to see a friend of hers. I went, I could blow you up so much tomorrow. I'm going to make a list of my people and just send you a bunch of people. And if you do business, great. If you don't, at least you have a new connection. 
that's how my mind works because I'm very blessed that I built, I built my net worth based on all of my friends. I don't advertise anywhere ever. I never advertise. I just have a cool network. So this is one way to start your network, which is, again, she has a CPA on there, photography, financial advisor, contractor, roofer, carpet clean. And here's the best part. This is a link. This is a, this is a Google Doc. So you give us the link. And let's say tomorrow you meet somebody new you're going to start doing business with. You can go in there in two seconds, add them to your link. We don't have to change anything on the info because once you click referral A team, it automatically is updated on the link. So I highly recommend you guys all think of a referral network and how to, or, you know, who you're going to share out. This is the beginning of it. So Maya's got a big monster list, okay? But let's talk about the other way through Infone, and this is why we created this. Again, your network is your net worth. I tell people all day long, if you don't have warm market referrals, forget it. Because you know why? You're, the competition's better than you. Now, obviously, I know they're not because you guys are my network, right? But that's the way other people think is, who cares about you? This guy's got a nicer billboard on 95 if I don't know you. Who cares? You can't think that way. You have to be the one that people want to refer. How do you do that? You build a network. You build communication. You take Marty's advice and just build a community of people that want to help each other succeed, like Maya. So Maya on the bottom here, every time Maya hands her info out, well, she's in the thousand. I mean, she, I got to do her. She's thousands and thousands and thousands of opens. She's just, she's a networker. So she has her insurance agent, her photographer, her financial planner, her painter, all this stuff, right? So if somebody says to Maya, who do you recommend for a mortgage? She would just say, now go to my info. What is Maya doing now? Again, she's reminding people, don't forget I do real estate. Don't forget about me. Now, I'm not being selfish here. I'm being a business person that's building a brand of myself, right? It's, hey, you need a photographer? No problem. Click on my beautiful face, my Maya today, my beautiful face, and then boom, you get my, you get my info because I want you to keep looking at it. Scroll up a little bit, and there's your photographer. So we'll click photographer. You click photographer, and it brings up her photographer, okay? Now, what just happened? This photographer just got a lead, a referral from Maya. Maya didn't have to do any extra work sending them anything, whatever. They already have her info. She said, hey, just go to my info and click on photographer on the bottom. Done. Why? Because Maya puts her info on everybody's home screens already. So when they need somebody. Now, Carrie is awesome. It tells her story all about her, what she does. But at the bottom, and again, now think about this. Carrie doesn't have a monster network. Maybe she doesn't want to build it. Maybe she doesn't want to get too busy. I'm not sure. I do know a lot of photographers, which is funny. They're too busy. They can't handle the work, which is great a great problem. But. Maybe Carrie's that way. But at the bottom, Carrie has two referrals. She has an insurance agent and a real estate agent named Maya, right? So at the bottom of Carrie's, now think about this. Every single time Carrie hands out her info to her clients that she's doing a, a shoot for. I know in her studio, she has that thing that Chrissy has printed out with her QR code on it. Every time Carrie does something this, she takes Maya with her, okay? So Maya... All Maya does is sit there and gets a phone. Oh, oh, I found out you found out through Carrie. Oh, that's great. Yeah, you're on her, her info. She told me to click it. So now think about this. Every time she hands out her info, click on Realtor, brings it back to Maya. The reason I stress this A team is because I can talk till I'm blue in the face and tell people, look, you got to create a network. Now, it's up to you. I mean, it's up to you totally. I do business with people who do business with me. Now, I'm not the person where it says, you scratch mine, I'll scratch your back kind of thing. I'm not like that. It's not tit for tat, whatever. But I will tell you this. I've had people in my network, my, my insurance agent, I can tell you right now from back in the day. Notice I say from back in the day, I made that guy well over a million dollars, millions of dollars. I bought and sold 35,000 cars, 35,000 cars in my career, right? So I sent every single person to him, actually not him. My, his top rep, which I, who I love. She's awesome. She, well, she, she's a good friend of mine still, even though we don't do business together anymore. But I sent everybody to him. And when it was time to ask of a favor, guys, don't be shy to ask a favor of somebody you referred a million dollars in business to. You should do it all the time. I said, hey, I need a favor. I need a referral of this and this. He couldn't come up with a, a dead person. He couldn't come up with one person. And I said, look, I need something. You know what? After about two weeks of just saying, I need this referral, he pretty much swept me under the rug. I said, no problem. Guess what I have? A new insurance agent who literally refers me a million. 
and phones? No, that's my problem. That's my problem. He refers me to pe people to me and it's my, my turn to close the deal. Okay. So think about this, whoever you're doing business with right now, follow your checkbook. If you're paying that landscaper, if you're paying that pool person, that roofer, if you're referring out that insurance agent, have them on your A-team, get referrals from them. Even if they're not on your A-team, get referrals from them. I do business with people who do business with me. Okay. It could be one a year. I don't care. That's why I always, always, always wake up with the mentality of, I need to go on my A-team, which is mine right here. I need to go on my A-team and I need to literally go down the list. I need to get my travel agent somebody. I need to get my financial advisor somebody, my, my injection specialist. Oh, yeah. If you have, this is, these are great. Now, I don't get anything done. Some guys, which is not my stereotype, most of women get this injection stuff done. This girl gets a lot of business from because my fiance's in skincare and my sister's a hairstylist. So we send all our people to this girl, Lisa. So, you know, it's awesome. My insurance guy, uh, microblading, personal trainer. There's Marty right there. Look at this. There's my man. I sent it out with him. There he is. And by the way, you see how he has a dark background. Most people have the light one. Um, you can, you have the option if you want to get this. I like the lighter one personally, but you have the option if you want the darker one or the lighter one, if you'd like that. Okay, guys. But anyway, I wanted to just bring all those up because your A team can help you create success. If your goal is to make six figures a year, and I say this as, as an entrepreneur, here, I have money goals every year. Okay. I have money goals. I always want them to exceed the next. Okay. Well, let's say your goal is six figures this year. Great. That means that if I can get 20 people on the street referring me, I'm just making this up. If I can make $500 per person referred to me in my business, okay, that means I need 200 people in one year referred to me, okay? And then you can make $500 a person. So that means, okay, if you break it down, if it's 200 people, it's like a person every day and a half, so to speak, right? If Whatever the math, exact math is, okay? So every day you need somebody referred to you. Now that's closing hundred percent of the deals, which, which again, is, nobody's perfect, right? But you might close 90%, whatever, whatever the percentage is. So you have to think about math that way. Okay. I need 200 people to refer me people in order to close my goal. Well, how do you get there? You're going to go do Google AdWords, your competition, just because you have a nice little word in front of everybody else. You're going to spend $50,000. Steve wrote, am I right or wrong? Steve, you're going to spend a million dollars on Google AdWords. Guess what I do? I spent $199 on an info and I blast it to my network. I blast it to everybody. I say, can you do me a favor? Just share my info. Do me a favor. Just do it. You know, they're my network. They help me. And then again, if I do business with them all the time, they're on my 18. Steve, any, anything you want to add on to that? And then we'll round it up in another four or five minutes. No, just real quick. I, I'm going to show you guys. James talked about the way to share it. When I first saw it, we believed in it, but now we got the numbers. James forgot, you know, we talk about this all the time, but here's January 1st to June 6th for me, over 19,559 people have clicked on my info. 5,500 new people have seen my info business over a year. And the only reason it is because every single person I see gets the info. And 1% say no, then I just tell them, here, put in your contacts list. So it does work. These numbers, if I had to do Google ads, that's about six to $8,000 I'd spend in a year in advertising. Well, we're spending 199 to 299 a year to get something like this. Just go out. And this proves that I share it with everybody. When James saw this, he was blown away. I kind of oh, wasn't because I knew I was sharing it, but the numbers blew me away. But this shows you, if you go out and show, do what James just said, it will work. And I all want you to think about this. Let's take 5,500. Let's take 10%. 555 people, new people see your business starting today to December 31st, 2022. Put in your head, if you want to throw it in the chat, how much money would you make if you met 500 new people and say you closed 10%, you had 50 new clients. I know Joe with Sarah, that'd be a few bucks in his pocket. Because everybody's got different commission levels. Because Joe's a coach, and he—I love Joe. Um, so I want you to put that in the chat, or just think about that. I share this with everybody; they're completely blown away. I network. I used to network fifteen to twenty times a week to get my to get the info name out there. You see the results.
Phenomenal. And you know what's funny about Google AdWords too is you you have to put the perfect words for what they're looking for at that perfect time. So that's the difference of this versus just share it. I I, I can't repeat myself enough of we we said it last week. Like when you hang up, not tomorrow, not Monday, stop procrastinating. Now's the best time. To, when's the best time to do that? When's the best time to start going to the gym? Uh na- like 15, 20 minutes from now. Like, why would you wait, you know, until a week from next Monday to start? business you want you want to do business to get business so imagine and i say this i don't call them employees anymore my, my buddy grant menard is on my a team i uh i went to his place i go how many employees do you have he goes zero i was like you had like 15 people in the back he's like, oh they're my team members i don't have employees i went he's like i was like he's like without them i don't have any business so they're my team members they're all we're all partners you know even though they're not partners they're not monetary partners but i love that so think about your team members okay Think about people that are at, in your in your workforce right now that have a job to do for you, and they say, you know what? I know I'm supposed to do that job, but I'm just going to wait till next Wednesday or something like that, right? You'd be pretty pissed as their boss that they procrastinated and waited. Well, you have to look in the mirror. And I say that I'm talking to myself all the time. I say it to myself, and I just you know relate a message to you. Uh, when you hang up, start at A or start at Z or start in the middle, and literally just text out. Hey, Susan, it's James. Hope you're well. Hope life's amazing. I wanted to shoot you a text with my updated contact information, you know, via info. If you know anybody that ever needs my services or a great referral will be phenomenal. Looking forward to catching up. I don't care what you say to them, but you're, you heard it's just like, hi, hope you're well. Here's my updated contact information. Hope to see you soon. Please share it if you know anybody wants referrals, whatever. Those three points, right? And a lot of people are worried about, you know, reaching out to you. Oh, I don't want to just think I'm using them. You're not using anything. You're just saying, hey, I want to give me updated contact information in case you lost it. Tony even said last week on a call, half his family didn't even know he did insurance until he sent his info out to people. They're like, you do insurance? And he's like, yeah. Like, It's funny how that works, right? The people that you talk to all the time might not you do. So I highly recommend you blast it out. Uh, I know um, uh, Dana last week, she's a travel agent. She's awesome. Her, her email signature line, is a big picture of her, her title, and her info link. And it's that simple. Please click here for my info. Like, it's just simple. You have to get it out there. But again, it all goes back to the first thing I said just now in the beginning, is you must use it everywhere you go. And before we end here, guys, if you haven't done it yet, I know I'm seeing most of them in the comments here. Can you please put in the chat, if you haven't done it yet, who you are, your first and last name, okay? What city and state you're from or country, if you're Sarah, where are you from? Um, what your background is, health industry, auto, whatever it is, and your info link. I want everybody to screenshot that and go do business together. You know, who knows what you do? You can probably utilize each other's networks or make some great friends out of it. I still have never met Steve Ramona ever in my life. But one of these days, I'm going to get on a plane. I'm going to fly to California and surprise him. But you have no idea. But that's the cool part. You know, you might meet somebody on here. So. Yeah. Guys, Steve, any final thoughts, brother? And then we're going to yeah. stop recording and then I'll, I'll open for questions afterwards. So this is real time. Just happened two minutes ago. Somebody on LinkedIn booked an appointment with me. I have no idea who this guy is. I'm meeting him at my time, 5.30. Phenomenal. Well, how That's he did that? Hour. He we clicked on my info. It says book a meeting. He booked a meeting. Sent me a text. Hey, I saw you on LinkedIn. I booked a meeting. I'll see you at 5.30. Love. Uh, if I didn't have info up there, he'd have to send me a LinkedIn message. Hey, what's your email? What's your calendar? Now you get that back and forth. I talked to a lady this morning. She was like, really crying. She goes, you're just changing the way people do business incredibly. And it just happened as we speak. I probably have a new info client in about an hour and a half. When you least expect it. Again, it just works. It just works. You can put anything. If there's, an, if there's a link, <clears throat> there's a link in the world, we can connect it with your info. All right, guys, I appreciate you so much for being on. I'm going to, we are going to um, open for questions in a second, but Steve, you go ahead and stop recording.